Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe is a classic adventure novel that tells the story of a mariner's extraordinary journey of survival on a deserted island. Published in 1719, the novel is often considered the first English novel and is inspired by the real-life experiences of castaway Alexander Selkirk. The narrative is presented as the personal journal of Robinson Crusoe, offering a detailed and introspective account of his experiences. The story begins with Robinson Crusoe's early years in York, England, where he defies his father's wishes to become a seafarer. Driven by a desire for adventure and wealth, Crusoe embarks on various sea voyages, facing the challenges and perils of the open ocean. His first voyage is fraught with danger, but Crusoe survives and continues his seafaring pursuits. Crusoe's life takes a dramatic turn when, during his second sea journey, his ship is wrecked in a violent storm near the coast of West Africa. Crusoe and the crew manage to escape in a small boat, but they are eventually captured by Moorish pirates. Crusoe becomes a slave but later escapes with a fellow captive. They make their way to Brazil, where Crusoe establishes himself as a successful plantation owner. Despite his newfound prosperity, Crusoe remains restless and decides to undertake another sea voyage, this time involving the transportation of slaves. However, fate intervenes, and his ship is caught in a severe storm. Crusoe finds himself marooned on a deserted island somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. The heart of the novel unfolds as Crusoe grapples with the harsh reality of his situation on the uninhabited island. Initially despondent in questioning the providence that led him to this predicament, Crusoe gradually adapts to his surroundings. He salvages supplies from the wrecked ship, learns to make tools, builds shelter, and establishes a routine for survival. Crusoe's resourcefulness and determination become evident as he navigates the challenges of his solitary existence. He cultivates crops, tames wild animals, and creates a semblance of civilization on the island. The narrative becomes a testament to human resilience and the ability to adapt in the face of adversity. One of Crusoe's significant achievements is the creation of a calendar, marking the passage of time during his solitary life. His journal entries meticulously detail his activities, reflecting his evolving mindset and the psychological impact of isolation. Crusoe grapples with existential questions, confronts his religious beliefs, and acknowledges the consequences of his earlier decisions. The turning point of Crusoe's isolation occurs when he discovers human footprints on the beach. Fearful of potential cannibals, he fortifies his dwelling and prepares for a possible encounter with hostile natives. However, his fears are dispelled when he encounters Friday, a native whom Crusoe saves from his captors. Friday becomes Crusoe's loyal companion, and their interactions provide a glimpse into the cultural exchange between the European castaway and the indigenous islander. Crusoe takes on the role of mentor, teaching Friday English and introducing him to Christianity. The relationship between Crusoe and Friday adds depth to the novel, exploring themes of companionship, power dynamics, and cultural differences. As the years pass, Crusoe's desire for rescue intensifies. A series of events, including the arrival of a shipwrecked crew on the island, provides him with opportunities to escape. However, these attempts are thwarted by external forces, reinforcing the theme of fate and divine intervention in Crusoe's life. The novel reaches its climax when Crusoe encounters a group of mutineers who have landed on the island. With Friday's assistance, Crusoe devises a plan to confront the mutineers and secure his rescue. The successful resolution of this conflict marks the culmination of Crusoe's long and arduous journey. The novel concludes with Crusoe's return to England after more than two decades of isolation. Despite his wealth and the comforts of civilization, Crusoe finds it challenging to readjust to society. He reflects on the lessons learned during his time on the island, expressing gratitude for the providence that guided him through his extraordinary adventure. 
Robinson Crusoe is a literary classic that transcends its adventure narrative. It explores themes of survival, isolation, self-discovery, and the impact of colonialism. Crusoe's journey reflects the spirit of exploration and individualism prevalent in the 18th century, while also raising questions about the consequences of European expansion and the encounter with other cultures. Daniel Defoe's masterful storytelling and Crusoe's detailed journal entries create a compelling narrative that has captivated readers for centuries. Robinson Crusoe continues to be celebrated as a seminal work in English literature, influencing subsequent adventure stories and serving as a timeless exploration of the human spirit's resilience in the face of challenges.